terrified. I'm terrified. You've spent your morning hiking in the desert sun. You begin to feel lightheaded and sweat is pouring down your back. As you pick up your cell phone to call for help, you realize you have no signal. This trip into the scorching heat may be your last. Here's how to survive the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert is located along the Mexico-US border. It reached a sizzling 80.8 .8 degrees Celsius in May of 2021. To make it through that heat, you might need to follow these steps. Why should you use the one hour rule? How can a mirror save you? And could keeping your mouth closed help you combat the heat? The scorching Sonoran Desert is the hottest in North America. It's 260,000 square kilometers of the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico, including the southern half of Arizona, southeastern California, and most of the states of Sonora and Baja California, Mexico. The heat here is dry and deceivingly deadly, so you should be prepared to withstand its brutal temperatures. Step 1. Plan your hike. While the sunny days may look the most picturesque, choosing a cooler day to venture out is ideal. Starting your hike in the early morning hours when it is about 15 to 30 degrees Celsius cooler would save you from the blazing heat. It would also allow you to see the gorgeous sunrise and animal life that are most active at that time. Step 2. Water, water, water. When setting out on any hike, it is important to bring water. A good rule is to have at least one liter for every hour you are going to be out. You need to keep water inside your body. You don't want to save all the water you have. Certainly don't chug it all down, but it's most important to try and keep your body temperature at 37 degrees Celsius. Step 3. Proper Equipment before you set out on this treacherous hike across the desert, make sure you have the proper equipment. Don't go out in sandals. Wear layers of light clothing and prepare for the worst. Ideally, a compass would help prevent you from getting lost. Other not-so-obvious items to bring include a mirror to signal for help since the reflection can be seen from a great distance, and a whistle to signal for help might also come in handy. Step 4. Don't lay down. You might feel exhausted, but do not lie down. Since the desert is surrounded by mountains, it traps the hot air, causing the ground temperature to rise. They can be hotter than the air. Step 5. Keep your mouth closed. You may have forgotten what your teacher said about keeping your mouth closed during class. But this is an important time to listen to that advice. You need to conserve moisture whenever you can. This means moving slowly, which can prevent excessive sweating and keep your mouth closed. This will slow down the dehydration process from your breathing. Cover your mouth with something like a bandana to prevent excess water loss. Remember, heat stroke can be fatal. Since 1998, Approximately 4,000 migrants have died under the Arizona sun. In his 2004 book, The Devil's Highway, Luis Alberto Urea explains the perils of traversing the Sonoran on foot by the Yuma 14 Mexico migrants. The group died in their border crossing attempt. Those in shape will, sooner or later, faint. Your temperature red lines, you hit 106, and your eyes turn red and blood vessels burst. Trying to make it across the Sonoran Desert isn't easy, but how does it compare to Death Valley? We'll give you all the tips to survive there too, here on How to Survive.